good evening. Tonight we're going to talk about why it's your back, well, why it's not your back, and it's actually your hips that's giving you back pain while you're squatting. So, to illustrate this, I'm going to squat down. So right here, I'm at the bottom of my squat. And if you watch my lower back right here, if I go further down, it rounds a little bit. Come up, down. So when my lower back starts to round, that's when my hip mobility and my ankle mobility run out when I'm squatting. And in order to get further down into the depths of the squat, I then compensate by using my back to move instead. When you're moving your back, you're basically taking the spine from neutral, so right here, into a little bit of flexion, the rounding. That back and forth motion there, if done repeatedly, like on thrusters or wall balls, or even just squatting, that's called the butt wink, at least some people call it that, and over time, especially under heavy loads, that can lead to back pain. But the problem isn't the backs, the, isn't the back. The problem is from your hips. You simply, most people simply don't have enough hip mobility in that case to go through that full range of motion, get to the bottom of their squat, and stay there. So when that's the case, we do some hip mobility drills. So you'll take a band, a nice heavy resistance band, and you'll attach it to a stationary point. You'll slip your leg in the band. You're gonna bring the band as high up on your femur as you possibly can. So all the way up. You can go out, get a nice good pull on the band. And from here, you're gonna go on all fours and you're just gonna kind of rock back and forth like this. The entire time that band is going to be pulling your femur or your thigh bone back and in doing so that's actually stretching out the hip joint itself if you don't like that part of it or you have a hard time relaxing the muscles on the front of your hip which is key to doing this correctly you can try this variation a down and an up and just have your opposite leg be doing all the work I would suggest going about a minute or two there, and when you're done, you rotate so the band is now pulling out to the side. And from here, you can rock back and forth. Again, on your hands and knees, you can rock out to the side, get a little bit more of a pull in that band, or you can bring your leg, leg up in kind of a figure four stretch and let it pull here while you sit back on your hip. This position is also really good if you angle it and turn your body away and have it pull the pull straight back as well. So you can do this one at an angle, you can do it directly to the side, you can also do it facing directly away. The entire time the whole point is getting this band to pull your thigh bone back and out to the side to stretch out the hip joint capsule because those are the areas of the hip that tend to be tighter when you're squatting and that's what happens when you run out of room the back reverses a little bit to use that extra motion that your hips or your ankles depending on your mobility restrictions don't have but if you have tight hips and you're finding yourself having a hard time or having back pain with wall balls or thrusters this is something that would be a good idea to look into and could potentially help solve a lot of your problems if you have any questions, feel free to reach out and have a wonderful night.